Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today is day two of Daily December, and today we're going to be looking at the strongest duos in MCC. Let's get started immediately. Number one, or actually no, number ten, Puns and Sapnap. Very strong team. They were duoed in, uh, I think, were they duoed twice? I know they were duoed in MCC 14, and they got second and lost somehow. Uh, or f they got first, I don't remember, but they lost, so <laughs> it's a strong duo, though. Next up, Dream and Technoblade. I mean, this one's legendary. Everybody knows about Dream and Techno. They were under thumbnail. So yeah, very good duo. Next up, Fruit Berries and Illumina. It's very hard to see because for some reason it is zoomed out or whatever, but uh, yeah, obviously Fruit Ninja, very strong duo. Uh, people will consider it maybe the best duo ever, but you might be wondering, Wolfie, You've mentioned three of the best duos ever. What's next? Well, let me tell you. Rhett and Link, they would destroy everyone. You're not ready. Rhett and Link, good mythical morning. They would destroy everyone. They rate you a 20 out of 100 based on your skill. They would wipe the floor with anyone. Next up, peanut butter and jelly. This duo is undefeatable, aside from the five duos that beat it. But... It is super strong. Peanut butter, that's the, you know, the uh, creaminess and, and jelly, sweetness. Fruit and nuts, a good mix, just like trail mix. I don't know if it's in there, but I, very good duo. Next up, Barack and Michelle Obama. He was literally the president, and Michelle was there as well, next to him. But they, you can't beat the, the ex-president. He might be president again. He has a suit on. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, a very strong duo. At number five, you might be wondering, oh, who could beat him? You're going to find out real real soon. Number four, Phineas and Ferb. They literally build things in their backyard that are, like, unthinkable. And then Candace comes in and goes, Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. And then Candace gets laughed at by everyone. I think that's how it went. I haven't watched Phineas and Ferb in many, many years, but... Oh well, very strong duo. Fruit Ninja has nothing against Phineas and Ferb. They would easily wipe the floor with them. Next up, Macaroni and Cheese. This duo is so good that it has to be together. There is no image that separates them. They are always connected. They are phenomenal as a duo, undefeatable. You got the nice flavor. You got the worldwide, you know, they're, they're known worldwide. They're cohesive. You can't beat them. Now, we're going to get to three honorable mentions before getting to the top two, because the top two are spectacular. First honorable mention, Daft Punk. They made some funky music. They made some good music. You know, you can't defeat them. But unfortunately, they just missed out on the top ten. Daft Punk, uh, even though they, they discontinued like being Daft Punk or whatever, their helmets still exist, and we don't know what they're made out of. They're very shiny. But for all we know, it could be pure diamonds. So, uh, diamond is pretty indestructible. It could be made out of obsidian, which I... Yeah, I mean, who knows? Next up, Patrick and Spongebob for honorable mention number two. I mean, this duo, almost everyone knows who they are. They are, they are just top class. But unfortunately, Spongebob can't get his driver's license, which means they just miss out on the top ten. Also, Patrick lives under a rock, literally. So... Yeah, I mean, they're competing, like, a duo like Tommy in it and, and Tubbo doesn't do anything against Sp Spongebob and Patrick. You can't beat them, aside from the people that do beat them, which is the top ten. And then, next honorable mention, and this is a shocker that this, this duo didn't make the top ten. Salt and Pepper. I mean, it is crazy. It is insane how, how much variety this team has. This is an all-rounder. They can go in anything... They destroy anything related to competition. They are phenomenal. Pepper has so much variety on its own, but combined with Salt, the star player of food, it is, it's just unfair. But unfortunately, they got beat by Puns and Sapnap. Not sure what they did. It was probably survival games. But um, yeah, that's our last honorable mention. Now for our top two. And these, these two duos are absolute star players. First duo... Mario and Luigi. Now, you might be thinking, how is this duo not number one? I mean, it's literally Mario and Luigi. Mario by himself almost wipes the floor with anyone, and then Luigi is there to do the almost exact same thing. 
They are phenomenal as a duo. They're literally in Smash Bros. None of the other people on this list are in Smash Bros. Phineas and Ferb, they stand no chance. Sapnap would never get out of to to Smash Bros. But these two are star players. They were there from the start. They have experience. They know how to compete. They literally have so many games. It, it, they have more games than MCC has games, I think. Probably. Either way, they literally have games made for their duo. Mario and Luigi doing whatever. It's super strong. Nobody can beat them except for this one final duo. And you might be wondering... Wolfie, what could this duo be? What what could it be? How could Mario and Luigi lose? The the Earth and the Moon. Nobody competes with the Earth and the Moon. We are all part of the Earth. The Earth owns us. And then the Moon is there as backup. If we can't live on the Earth anymore because the Earth doesn't want us, we go to the Moon. But then the Moon rejects us. Where do we go? We just float in the atmosphere or whatever. Uh, we could go to Mars. But Mars doesn't want us either. We go to Jupiter to get more stupider, and then boom, it's over for us. Earth and Moon own everyone. They destroy the entire competition. The Moon could crash into the Earth, and then the Earth is gone, and then everyone else is gone. So I just think this duo is the best. However, I'm open to hear your your thoughts uh, on, on what duo could be added to this list and, uh, and what could beat another duo. Uh, give me your feedback in the comments below, and uh, and I appreciate you all for watching. Tomorrow we'll be talking about, uh, I don't actually know what we're talking about, but tomorrow will be day three of, of Daily December on Wolfie Extras. Please make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Uh, the final Block Wars teams got announced, but uh, I forgot to bring those up, so um, I'm not going to show them to you. You can check them on Twitter. All right, goodbye, everyone.